Good morning, great Thursday, April 29, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another wonderful dawning of a brand new opportunity to experience God's faithfulness. Yes, they are great. His mercies are renewed every morning. All that we can possibly think we need it's already provided, it's already supplied. And that's one of the promises today. We would have gone to Psalms 29, and it says that the Lord will give strength unto his people. That's something that he has already supplied. We might feel like we didn't get enough rest or not enough hours in the day to accomplish whatever we need to do. Mm -mm. Listen. As long as we have the strength of the Lord, his might, his power, we can rest in him and he will do the accomplishing, the doing, and he will give us rest in the midst. And also it says, the Lord will bless his people with peace. So let's just trust him with all thy heart. We are in the second book of Samuel. So, so the second Samuel 14th chapter and we know that this is a narrative about how Absalom remember the previous chapter he killed his brother Amnon because Amnon disrespected he raped his sister Tamar and Absalom waited for the time you know just to annihilate him well Absalom went away and Joab uh, set up a plan because Joab wanted and Absalom wanted to come back to the king because he was sent away. He was in exile. And that's the story. This is the story where Joab hired a woman to give a scenario to the king and it says that the woman said, Behold, my whole family has risen against thine handmaid. And they said, Deliver him that smote his brother, that we may kill him. She talked about a story where the two sons were fighting, and then one son killed the other son. And then she was talking about the heirs and how she was a widow, and her husband was dead, and on and on and on. But the thing that was very important is that David perceived that Joab put her in this situation so that she would tell the story to King David. It's so important that we are able to pick up and discern. It says in verse 17, thine handmaid says, the word of my Lord the king shall now be comfortable for as an angel of God, so is my Lord the king to discern to discern good and bad bad therefore the lord thy god will be with thee because he was like oh, this is this is fishy or whatever listen the lord will give us discernment he will give us perception to pick up on things if someone is setting something up a situation against us or against someone else the lord will give us wisdom knowledge spirit understanding, counsel, and might. And at the end, Absalom stayed away for two years and then he came back and there was a reuniting of son and father. And it says that Absalom who bowed his face to the ground when he saw his dead, the king, and the king kissed Absalom. So there was a happy reuniting, and that was because of Joab. And you want to be the person who is the peacemaker in a situation. Even though, you know, Joab went, you know, a different route, but the point is that there was reconciliation. There are a lot of breach relationships out here, and the Lord wants to use us so that we can bring parties together. What did you get out of that story, if anything? Okay, well, listen, we would have gone to Psalms 119, and we know that that has, I think, 175 verses. 
What is very important is for the young people, for old people, and I know that there is a scripture where it asks, how shall a young man keep his way? How shall he stay unfocused? And that's in verse nine. Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed, by paying attention to the word of God, to his precepts. And you should apply yourself, your whole heart. Hmm? It says, with my whole heart, I have sought the Lord. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. So you can be a peacemaker. You can have perception. You can have discernment. You can stay on the path that the Lord has put us on. And he will give us his whole understanding if we seek him with our whole heart. Have a wonderful day enjoying the presence and the promises of the Lord.